shop my stash this week I know I pulled quite a few items for my fall shop my stash a few weeks ago and I have been using quite a few of the products but I want to kind of refresh some of my basic products and add a few things to my palettes that I have that I'm using so today as you can see I'm just pulling from my drawer here I usually take everything out set it up and you know do it up here on my desk but we are just gonna go through this drawer today <laughs> hopefully that's okay with you guys and just briefly talk about the things that I have been using now there are some items in here that just stay in the drawer a few small things that I use occasionally or I don't use so let's just get started so the first thing that I wanted to go ahead and mention and I put it here in my drawer because I didn't want to forget it is this new DJ's boutique this is one of her turmeric brightening bars. Now this is a brand new one. As you can see, it's still here wrapped up. Now she makes these by hand, okay? So that alone is pretty amazing. But she makes these by hand. I purchased one a few weeks ago and after I used it, <laughs> I immediately went on her website and bought a few more so as you can see this one is brand new not used or anything but these bars are so nice you guys I was like I, I had to ask her you know is it okay if I leave this on my skin is it gentle you know and she was like yes she put some nice oils in here it keeps your skin nice and soft when you remove it and finish washing your face it's not dry or anything like that but I wanted to mention this because this is a really really nice bar now when I use it um my skin feels super soft when I rinse it off it's nice and bright it just looks kind of you know rejuvenated and fresh so I really really like these I think they're cool they are on her site for I think about six bucks and I would say if you're looking for something like this, a nice turmeric brightening bar or something like that, then check these out because I never would have tried this probably if my girl wasn't selling them. And I was like, this is like really, really nice. So anyways, just wanted to start off with that because I've been using this every day. I love it. My skin feels amazing. Okay, so let's go ahead and just jump into some of these other items. Um, you guys might already know I've been using my Mamond Rose Water Gel Cream for quite a quite a while now. I've had this in my shop, my stash. I haven't really wanted to switch it out, but I think I'm gonna switch it out this time. Um, this is what it looks like. If you're curious, as you can see, I'm really running through it. it. This stuff it smells amazing. If you love the smell of roses, it feels great. Um, but I won't go on and on about it because I've talked about it several times before. This is like one of my absolute favorite moisturizers. Next here, I do have my Tarte Maracuja Miracle Mist. Um, it's actually quite light because I've been using it quite a bit. Now, I wasn't really sure if I was supposed to get a dewy finish from this or what, but it does leave my face with like a healthy glow I would say more so than dewiness it's supposed to um, set your makeup for 16 hours I don't know about that but I do like how this feels and I do like the mist because it's very very fine like um, what is it the morphe one it's just like that so this one is really really nice it smells nice I like it but as far as 16 hour hold I don't know about that but I do like the way 
it makes my makeup look. I do have this LA Girl Jet Setter Mascara that I've been using. I've been using this for quite a while, actually, and I think I'm going to keep using it because I want to go ahead and finish it up. I don't want to, you know, keep opening new mascara, so I'm going to keep using this. It's not bad. It's actually a nice mascara. I like what it does to my lashes. Nice and full. Adds a little bit of length, so I think for a drugstore mascara, this is actually um, pretty decent. Let me open it up just in case you don't see I close my stuff super tight you guys but let me open it up so you can see it just in case you're not familiar with what it looks like just your basic mascara wand there so yeah and as you can see it's still nice and juicy okay so I'm gonna keep using that I'm gonna leave that in there um am I gonna keep using them no I'm gonna switch out the maracuja okay so I have some other things in here. Eye cream I don't always use, sunscreen. This Fenty Heat, you know, one of their uh, new like gloss bombs, but the lip plumping kind, this stuff, it, it's nice. It does have that little tingle. It's not as bad as some other ones that I've used. I'm gonna put some on now actually. But yeah, it's not as bad um, tingle wise as far as you know, that goes to some other ones that I've used. It's nice, but if you don't like plumping gloss, then you probably won't like this. Even if you like the um, Fenty Gloss Bomb, if you don't like plumping glosses, then don't buy this because it doesn't hurt. It doesn't have that hurt tingle, but it does tingle a little bit. Now for primer, I do have two primers that I've been using. This I Love Revolution Strawberry Whip. This is actually one of my absolute favorites. I love this stuff. I really, really do. I actually just ordered another one because this one is getting light. But it is a pore blurring primer. It has vitamin C and E. But what I like about it is it really, really smooths out my skin. And it also um, just makes it feel soft, which is kind of different for me for a primer. But it just feels nice and soft and smooth. So I really, really like this. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and switch it out. <laughs> I don't know. This is one of those things where I kind of want to, you know what, I'm going to leave this in my drawer for now. <laughs> I'll pull one more, but I'm going to keep that one. I also have the Marc Jacobs. This one is, what is it called? Invisible Undercover. So yeah, this really just feels like a moisturizer to me. As far as, you know, if it does anything else for the skin, I don't feel like it does. It just feels like a really nice moisturizing primer to me. So this can go back. I've been using this 4th Ray Aveeno Rejuvenating Serum Boost. It's a nice serum, you know, nothing really special to say about it. It's just your basic serum. I like it, but it's nothing that, you know, I would repurchase really. I've also been using this Osei Sea Minerals Mist. I actually used this a few times just spraying it on my face prior to applying my um, moisturizer and stuff just to give me a nice little extra boost of hydration. And also, um, you know, if my face feels a little bit too dry after powdering and stuff, I use it for that. So it's really nice. I actually like it. It says Supercharged Toning Mist to balance, hydrate, and soothe organic seaweed, aloe vera, and mineral peptide, restore skin, mineral balance all day. So it's something that you really can use just, you know, to spray on your face when you're not wearing makeup to give it a nice boost of hydration and everything. Good stuff in here, but I like to use it for all kinds of stuff, you know. It's really nice. Okay, so let's move on to the concealers. Now, I did choose this JCAT Stay Assurance um, Concealer. I have the shade Sunkissed. I really like this concealer. I really do. It's a really nice shade for me. Um, it has decent coverage. It blends out nicely. It's not super dry. You know, as you can see here, it's very, very nice. It keeps its coverage while you're blending it out, so I do like that. It gives me a nice little bit of brightening. So, yeah, I think this is an excellent choice for, you know, a nice affordable concealer. Am I going to keep this? Uh, no, I'm going to switch it out, even though I do really like it. My Essence Concealer that stays in my drawer. I use this for my dark circles and hyperpigmentation. And my Juvia's Place number 11 concealer. This stays in my drawer as well because if I ever have a 
concealer crisis, <laughs> this will usually fix it. So I keep this in my drawer because I really, really love that concealer. It's actually like my favorite, to be honest with you. Yeah, so see, when I blend that out, it's just, it's really nice. That J-Cat coverage is nice. It blends out nice. You know, I just, I like it. It looks good. Okay, I've also been using my Uma um, Double Take Stick more. I don't really use a lot of cream products. It's just not what I do. But I've really been wanting to, you know, kind of go through some of my cream bronzers. And this Double Take Stick is actually really convenient. I mean, it's still going to last me forever because I use such a small amount. But it's a really nice shade for me. And then it also has, yeah, this one is Brown Sugar. It also has this highlighter on the other end. And I never really talk about it because I really don't use it. But it actually is a really nice highlighter shade if you like kind of like a creamy stick type highlighter. So that's what it looks like if you're curious. It's just not really my vibe. But I'm going to keep this in my drawer because, you know, I'm still going to be using that. So for foundations, I did choose this Clinique Stay Matte Oil-Free Makeup. This was one that I bought on sale at Sephora. I wanted to try it out. Haven't tried out any Clinique foundations before, so I did buy two of them. This is one of them. This one is super duper matte. Very, very matte. The coverage is great. Um, but... I don't know. It's like when I first put this foundation on, it's like, oh, that's too light. I'm going to have to, you know, work it out, figure it out. But actually, you know, once I do my powder and bronzer and all that stuff, it actually ends up being a very nice finish for me. And you can see that coverage is really, really good. It's a really nice full coverage foundation. And it does dry down very matte. Okay. <laughs> so yeah but i'm gonna put that back i also chose my rare beauty foundation this one is in the oh did i tell you the shade of the clinique this clinique is spice 116 spice and the shade on this rare beauty is 480w rare beauty nice foundation if you like a medium buildable coverage it has kind of like that serum type finish you know what i mean so it's not going to dry down matte or anything like that. You're going to have like that kind of light natural glow, if you will. <laughs> so I do definitely set mine with powder. I like this. It's a decent shade for me as well. This one is a little more rich, a little more, you know, cocoa-licious on my skin tone, which is absolutely beautiful, as you can see there. It's gorgeous, blends out nicely, but yeah, it is just like a medium buildable coverage, not full at all. So I'm going to put that back. This Pretty Fresh Hyaluronic Acid Tinted Moisturizer, it wasn't part of my Shop My Stash. I just keep this in my drawer because I tend to grab this a lot if I want to just do like a quick, simple look, you know, to run out and go do something or I don't want heavy makeup you know to go out with hubby i always keep this in my drawer close by because i love this stuff this is like absolute favorite of mine so i'm going to keep that in the drawer powders prime beauty this is a prime beauty loose powder i love this stuff <laughs> I love it, love it, love it. It's hard for me to stop using it. Actually, I might keep using it. But this is the Locked In Loose Powder. What shade is this? Golden Gal. <laughs> love this stuff, you guys. I cannot stop talking about it. Love it, love it, love it. Yeah, this is one of my absolute favorites right now. It looks really, really good under my eyes, but I can also use this all over my face if I want to. I think I might keep this. I'm not sure yet. I'm going to leave it here for now. I also have here this e.l.f. This is a finishing powder. And I wasn't really sure. You know, e.l.f. is really, really affordable. So I wasn't really sure how I would feel about this powder. If it would be any good. If it would work for me. And I'm very, very surprised. This powder actually works really, really nicely. It really does. It sets down very nice. Um, holds my makeup in place. It's just, it's a good powder. So for sure, I would definitely say if you're on a budget or if you're just looking for an affordable finishing powder, you know, to try out, try this one out from e.l.f. I have the shade 
dark deep <laughs> which you know it doesn't look very dark deep but yeah this is dark deep and then for bronzer I just wanted to talk about this glowish I believe I have talked about this before because I really really like it this is from Huda Beauty I have 05 rich and I like this bronzer a lot I really do I don't know if a lot of people have tried it or you know really like it or talk about it but this bronzer is really nice it's smooth it goes on easy it doesn't go on too heavy it blends out nicely and I like the little pretty design in there it just it blends very very well so and it works nicely for my skin tone so I really like this okay so let's talk about blushes I have this Milani um what shade is this spiced rose this is one of my absolute favorite shades for this time of year it's so gorgeous oh my gosh it's like I can't even tell you you can see here how beautiful it is but it looks even more beautiful on the skin it's just I love it it's really really pretty let me see if I can do like a little swatch for you guys without making too much of a mess you see that that shade is just ah uh, on the apples of your cheeks with a nice beautiful fall look look at that look at that that's so pretty you guys I love this shade it's gorgeous part of me wants to keep this ciao <laughs> Okay, this LYS blush here. This one is uh, Inspire. Another one of my favorite shades for this time of year. It's kind of like the same type of shade, but this is a cream, as you can see. Absolutely gorgeous. Same thing. Um, you know, just that beautiful, like, terracotta type, you know, look on the cheeks. Isn't that beautiful? It's beautiful. And look at that. It's a cream blush, but... You know, it's not like dewy or shiny or anything. It's just really gorgeous. So I love these blushes from LYS. They're really nice. But I'm not going to keep both of these, even though I really love the color of both of these. I'm going to keep the Milani though, okay? <laughs> so I'm going to put the LYS back. Okay, continuing on with blush. I told you guys before, my girl DJ, she came out with some cream pigments. So of course you can use these on the cheeks, the eyes, you know, the lips, whatever you want to do, just you can play around with it. But let me tell you something. This one is called Burnt Sienna. These things are so freaking pigmented. It's like I'm actually scared whenever I squeeze it because it's like, girl, I don't want to be wasting my makeup. But you need the smallest and when I say the smallest I mean the smallest look at that even that is like way too much you need just the smallest amount oh my goodness I hate I, I'm so mad when I waste <laughs> when I waste my product but yeah you need just the smallest amount and it just it blends out beautifully here, let me just blend it out so you can see what that is going to look like. I mean, I think we have a fall theme going here for the cheeks. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you can use this on your eyes too. So just wanted to share that with you guys. This is going to stay in my shop mustache once again. I love that color and hello, the pigmentation is ridiculous, right? It's crazy. Okay, next for blush here. I have my Juvia's Place Blushed Rouge Volume 1. I mean, I can't rave enough about these blushes, you guys. They are so gorgeous. Oh my gosh, both of these shades are beautiful. Perfect for the fall time, you know, spice pumpkin latte right here. <laughs> but yeah, they're absolutely gorgeous. Um, this Grand Glow, I've mentioned this a few times. Plumping Liquid Highlighter, I've really been enjoying this this oh my gosh it's just so easy it's so easy i just make a couple of taps on the you know high points of my cheek and i take my beauty blender you know or my um brush and i just blend that mug out and it just blends out so beautifully and it looks gorgeous you know on the high points of your face it's so pretty i love this stuff 
you can use this underneath your foundation or on top of your foundation so yeah this is the grand glow plumping liquid highlighter in the shade bronze beam it's one that i actually got in my boxy charm so this is one of the products that i'm really really thankful that i got in my box so i'm keeping this as well because it's always nice to have just a nice cream highlighter to use now i just have two more highlighters before we talk about the palettes this is the Too Faced Chocolate Diamond, and this is what she looks like. I believe she's supposed to be more of a bronzer, but for me, as you can see there, absolutely gorgeous, beautiful, um, really gorgeous, kind of like bronzy type highlight. Look at that. Oh, so pretty. I love this. I do. Love it, love it, but it's going back. And then lastly, I have my Milani Intense Bronze Glow. So this is a face and body bronze powder. But once again, you guys know I use this stuff for um, highlighter. Try not to blind you. There we go. So this is what this one looks like from Milani. Let me swatch it out for you. Oh, that's pretty. Okay. What's she? Oh, this is 01 Sun Kissed Bronze. So let me put that one over here. So yeah, you can kind of see the difference in those two highlighters. This one has, the Milani has more of a gold sheen to it. And the um, Too Faced is a little bit more bronzy. You see that Milani Too Faced? Milani Too Faced. <laughs> so yeah, but they're actually both really, really pretty to use as highlighters, but I'm putting both of those back so I can switch them out. Okay, so let me just go ahead and organize this stuff a bit before I do my shopping and refill my drawer. But I also want to go through and talk about the palettes that I used to create my looks over the last month or so. So these first two palettes here, this is the um, Flower Beauty Jungle Lights. And then I also have here this magnetic palette from Sample Beauty. It just has some really pretty kind of like neutral shades in here that I purchased as singles. So I purchased all of these singles from um, Beauty Bay and the brand is Sample Beauty. So I got these from Beauty Bay, but these are just some of the more, you know, kind of like neutral type shades in this one palette. So I did use this palette put this here along with this jungle lights palette here uh you guys know i love this palette it is so gorgeous i hope they're still selling it because i'll be talking about this mug like it ain't nothing but yeah so i used these two palettes to create this look just a nice simple beautiful fall type look and i really really had a good time creating it these um mattes from Sample Beauty were very, very surprising to me. I didn't expect them to work out as nicely and as easily as they did, but yeah, these are some nice singles, you guys, very nice. Next, I have these two palettes that I used to create a look when I was out of town with my hubby. So the shimmers that I applied to my lid are from uh, DJ's Unique Boutique. She did come out with some gorgeous like multi-chrome shimmers not too long ago. And this is one of her little magnetic palettes. Very pretty as you can see. But I just put some of my absolute favorite <laughs> shimmers from her in here. And I used these on my lid to create this look. And for my crease work, I went in with my Sample Beauty Prodigy palette. So this is what this palette looks like from Sample Beauty. I guess I was really trying out Sample Beauty <laughs> over the last month or so because those singles were Sample Beauty as well. I actually did that look really quick in the hotel bathroom when I was out of town with my husband. And, you know, I just wanted to do some color. So that is what I did. And I love this palette. This is another one of my favorite kind of like all around mixed up combobulated palettes to use. Um... I don't know if they still sell this, but I think this is also a nice travel palette because it has a nice amount of variety if you're not afraid to travel with a larger palette. 
next <laughs> still talking about dj's unique boutique i did use some of her new quads to create a look as well so these are um all of the shades that she just came out with for her new quads i just have them all in one place so this is a quad this is a quad and this is a quad but you know y'all know me i kind of mixed mine all together to create this look oh my gosh the quality on these shadows you guys amazing it's just absolutely beautiful so definitely check out dj's unique boutique i forgot to mention you can save 10 percent if you want to use my affiliate code if you're going to buy something and you want to save some money you know you can use my code there are a few other codes out there if you don't want to use mine just definitely make sure that when you shop you're saving a little bit of money and you know getting your deal on so anywho i created that look with those quads i also created a look using this tinkerbell palette from ColourPop. they came out with this collection if you guys saw my video then you already know i tried out the whole collection um very very cute <laughs> i love this packaging but the color story in here is really pretty as well it has like the larger pans in here which i really really like that color pop did for this palette but this color story it really did just speak to me the shimmers the mattes everything is just beautiful so created that look next i used these two palettes to create a look as well which was kind of like an interesting combo for me but once again <laughs> i was out of town in a hotel and these were the palettes that i took with me to travel with so i took my viseart dark mattes so this is what this palette looks like one of my absolute favorite palettes for fall love these shades it has everything in here but it's just that you know deeper more rustic fall type feel so i did use this palette and i combined it with my juvia's wahala 2 okay very beautiful colorful palette but i just used some of the shades in here to um see if i can show this yeah here we go so i did use some of the shades in here to create this look as well and i feel like it was a nice a nice coupling of these two palettes they worked really well together once again um creating a nice just really pretty fall type look with these i also used this biatch <laughs> biatch <laughs> I also used this BH Cosmetics Paris palette and I used this to create kind of like a, a blue and purple toned eye look of course. So this is what this palette looks like on the inside. Really really pretty. I really love this color story. It was kind of like I guess like a blue and red toned look which ended up you know looking a little bit purple with the blend but very very nice palette i like these travel palettes from bh cosmetics and this one is a really pretty color story so use that now nomad cosmetics came out with their haunted europe palette and i was very very blessed to receive this in pr so this was um the palette that they or should i said is the palette that they came out with for you know their halloween type season palette look at that packaging you see how it switches so cool i did a video on this as well just in case you haven't seen it definitely check it out but i created a couple of looks with this palette so this is what this palette looks like i'll just go ahead and show it before i insert the looks that i did because i did do two looks with this palette so this is what she looks like and then let me move it over here and these are the two looks that i did using this palette i did one that was a little bit more kind of haunting and just a bit different you know and then i did do another one of course using these absolutely gorgeous greens in here so really really enjoyed this palette i actually want to do a few more looks because this palette is really nice Next, I did go ahead and pull out my Melt Muerte palette. <laughs> this is one of the palettes that I chose for my fall selections, and I'm so glad I did because <laughs> I hadn't used it in a, quite a while. And the look that I did, oh, I just, I loved it. I really did. I don't know if you guys did, but I loved it. So you guys know 
this is what this palette looks like. You know, it has the turquoise, the gray, the blue, the red, that really light bright shade down there. So this is what it looks like and that is the look that I created with it. And like I said, I really, really enjoyed using this palette. So this is the ColourPop It's a Mood palette. Oh, I love this palette. <laughs> I do. Let me see if I can get it all in there. Yeah. I love this palette. Okay. I just, the greens, the blues, the purple. Y'all know. Y'all know. Got the little burnt orangey shades in there. The burgundies, you know. It's just, oh, it's so pretty. So, this is the look that I created using this palette. Um, they just came out with another palette. Well, they came out with, they come out with a palette every day, but they came out with another big palette that looks kind of similar to this. And so I was pretty hesitant to even think about grabbing it, but I'm gonna have to take a close look at these two compared to each other because they look very similar, similar to me. So yeah. This is that one and I really, really like it. Next, I did do a look using these three palettes together. So I, com I combined my Natasha Denona Metropolis along with this ColourPop, um, what is it called? Down to Earth. And then I added in some shimmers from this Huda Beauty Wild Python. So I did use these three together. So let me just show you what these look like. This one here is the Huda Beauty Wild Python. So I did go ahead and use the light green and the blue on my lid a bit to add a bit of brightness and pop. I use this color pop down to earth. I kind of like to just keep this close by because this is perfect for just crease work. If I need to just do a quick eye look to run out the house or something like that with hubby. This is perfect for that and it's a nice quality palette. So yeah, this is the down to earth. I used that in the crease and then I also used my Natasha Denona Metropolis. You guys are probably pretty familiar with how this looks and it just came together. They all came together for a nice, beautiful, you know, green, blue toned fall look. So use those. Now this here, this Lorac Pro, the artistry book, you can see how big it is. It takes up the whole drawer, okay? So you know how big this drawer is? Look at this palette, okay? So I'm not even gonna try to maneuver it or anything like that, but I did use this beautiful, colorful palette to create this colorful eye look. Now what I will say about this palette is not my favorite colorful formula. Quite honestly, I think it's overpriced for the formula of you know these shades and these shadows even though there's like a billion shades in here i feel like the formula can definitely be better for the price that they chose for this because honestly you know you can buy one of the you know pretty colorful color pop palettes that has like 35 shades in it for a fraction of the cost and for better quality so it's it works it's not bad I was able to use it and create a look, but it's not the best formula that I've ever used. So I'll just put that out there. And last but not least, I did use one of my Pat McGrath palettes. This was the new one that came out, the Utopian Dream, okay. Basic Pat McGrath packaging. And then, oh, <laughs> so. Yeah, this is what this palette looks like. I don't know, you know, the camera I'm sure is not doing it any sort of justice because it is beautiful. Let me see if I can get in there like, yeah. Can't really see that shift, but y'all get the gist, okay? She's absolutely gorgeous. This is what she looks like. And this is the look that I created using this palette. And what I will say about this look that I did I did go ahead and add um, a little bit of black to my outer corner, just the teeny tiniest amount, because as you can see, there's really no deep, dark shade in this palette, of course. So for the eye look that I wanted, I wanted it a little deeper, so I did smoke out the outer corners just a little bit. But yeah, this palette, child, oh, gorgeous. I mean... I still don't feel like, 
<laughs> like these palettes are worth uh, 125 dollars but you know but they are gorgeous but you see that to me honestly i feel like i have other um you know shadows from indie brands that you know are better than these but Pat always gets us with the beautiful promo shots, you know, with the nice lighting <laughs> and the beautiful models. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's it's gorgeous. I'm not going to take that away from it. It's definitely not worth, you know, trying to get this palette instead of paying your light bill. Honey, you better pay your light bill. <laughs> Don't do it. Don't do it. So yeah, it's pretty though. And then for all that money, look at my box. The box is just just comes all busted up and whatnot. Yeah, it's like I would expect a better better packaging for even the the box for that price, you know. Okay, so we're done talking about these products that I've been using. Let's go ahead and shop for some new stuff. Guys, so let's just jump right in. I feel like selecting my products today should go fairly quickly because I'm not going to select a whole lot and I kind of have an idea of what I might want to use. I think I'm going to do um, another affordable foundation that I haven't used in quite a while. This one here, this Beauty Creations Flawless Stay Foundation, medium to full coverage. What shade do I have? FS10. Yeah, I want to go ahead and use this because I want to start doing, I guess, a little more decluttering. So I'm kind of filling out my foundations and seeing which ones I want to keep. So I'm going to pull this. And you guys know I always have to pull one more. <laughs> I always have to have two options no matter what. Um, wow, I haven't used this physician formula in quite a while. Um, this one is the Healthy Foundation. Let's see here. What does it say? Brightening Complex? What shade is this? DN4. Yeah, I haven't used this in forever. So let me go ahead and check this out and see if I still want to keep it. Okay, so let's come over here to the drawers. I need to pull a primer. This drawer is a mess, you guys. Please excuse the mess. Okay, I'm still trying to figure this stuff out. But anyway, um, I am. I really wanted to pull this Ulta Beauty last time, but I put it back because I had too many choices. But I really, really like this face primer from what I remember. So this one is mattifying. I think I'm going to go ahead and go for this this time. And I'm only going to pull this because I still have my iHeart Revolution primer so I'm just going to keep those two and I do need to choose a new moisturizer because I'm going to put the rose one back now this I got in a boxy charm I'm not sure what to think about this it says it's the Tarte C Glotion Skin Perfector hmm so I kind of want to try this out and see how it goes so I'm just gonna pull this see how I like it if I don't then I'll pull something else but for now I'm just gonna go ahead and try this out cuz I'm curious okay what's next serum okay so serums can get a little crazy as well but I want to try something or use something that I haven't used. I think I've used mostly all of these. These in the front are actual oils. I don't really use oils that much. This Elemis is one of my favorites, the Elemis Rose Oil, and I keep one of those in my drawer. So I'm not going to pull any of these. I use oils when I feel like it, not on a regular basis. This Tatcha Serum Stick is really nice and easy to use. I haven't used that in a while either. What is this? Juice Beauty? Okay, so this says Juice Beauty Stem Cellular Cellular, <laughs> cellular Anti-Wrinkle Booster Serum. Well, y'all know I'm trying to fight these wrinkles, okay? Should I try this? Let me try this out and see if I uh, add this to my skincare reg regimen and see if I like it. So I'm going to pull this. Okay, so what's next, you guys? 
Oh, concealer. <laughs> I really don't feel like thinking that hard. So I think I'm just going to pull two concealers today. Um, I haven't used my Revolution concealer in a while. So what is this stuff called? Revolution Conceal and Define. So I'm going to go ahead and pull this. This is C13. And then I'm also going to pull one of these CoverGirl Clean and Fresh concealers just for brightening. This one looks a little orange, but I think these are the same shade. What is this? 410? Yeah, this 410. These are both 410. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they're both 410. It's weird because this one looks a little more orange. So, anywho, I think I'm going to pull this one the less orange looking one because <laughs> these are pretty bright on me so I'll just use this for a little tap of brightness and then I'll use my revolution just as my regular concealer and I'm not going to pick a mascara because remember I'm going to keep using my LA girl until I finish it up okay so I think to keep this short and simple I don't think I'm going to choose um any single highlighters this go around because it just it takes me too long so i think i'll spend more time in there next time um i kind of want to just do like a palette um yeah i think i kind of just want to do like a, a palette this time around so let's see what we have for palettes living my best light Oh, this is one that I got from Beauty Bay. I've had it for a little while, but I haven't uh, tried it out. So this is what this one looks like. Really pretty. Your basic highlighters. There's probably only two that I could use in there. You know, these two here. But I don't know if I want to pull that one this time. This Beauty Bakery Milk and Honey. I got this in my BoxyCharm. I'm trying to do this with one hand, you guys, so I don't have to set my my camera up. But this is, um, yeah, this is the Milk and Honey that I got from BoxyCharm. That's kind of pretty, and it has this really pretty, like, pinky highlighter in there. Nice little variety. Okay, I think I'm going to pull this. This is cute, too. Too. look at the little honeycomb packaging on there so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull <laughs> I'm gonna pull this <laughs> and I'm telling you guys I am I'm gonna keep it simple because I want to do my shop my stashes more often so I'm gonna pick fewer items which is hard because you know I have <sighs> too much to choose from that's why I like to choose a lot now I know I want to use this Vesca I had grabbed this this came in my boxy charm or did I did I buy this in the pop-up I don't know it's kissed by Tahiti I think this might have been one of my choice items quite honestly but the shade that I got it looks very promising let me open this and try not to mess it up with my nails Okay, so this is what it looks like. As you can see, I did swatch it. It does look, like I said, very promising. Um, it's a really rich, deep shade. So it's kind of like, is it going to be a contour? Is it going to be a bronzer? I don't know. But I do want to pull this and see how it works out. I'm kind of scared to use it actually, but I'm going to try it. And I actually want to pull one more. I know I still have my cream stick from Uma but i do want to pull another powder i just used my morphe's not too long ago um wet and wild bronzer california beaming what is this morphe oh this is the like duo um showmance brontour okay let me open this up just in case you guys haven't seen it so this is what this one looks like very very nice i actually really really like this it has kind of like the little bit of shimmery type side but it's not really super shiny and then the beautiful warm bronzer so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and pull this because i definitely haven't used that in a while and i really like this one okay so i think that's it Ooh see i forgot about this <laughs> i got this in my boxy charm as well it's the cap cosmetics 
Um, and I think I used it once and not really sure which one I used. I actually think that I used this one here and it wasn't really as warm as I wanted it to be. This bright light is not really doing it justice. I think I want to use the shade bronzed um, and check that out and see if that works better on me. Of course, the darkest one. So yeah, I'm going to pull this too. I know I'm not supposed to pull a lot of stuff, but this I do want to try out for sure. Okay, so for blush, you guys, I think I'm going to stay away from these singles because these singles stress me out sometimes and I'm not in the mood to be stressed. Um, let's go for a palette maybe what's in here um ofra oh i remember this this is really nice too um this is the blush and bronzer duo hold on so see this is what this looks like the bronzer and blush oh my gosh and it's so pretty this is so pretty lord knows i do not need another blush and especially not that shade that's the same shade that i've been pulling and keeping what is this squad blush bronzer duo oh dang that's pretty i'm not gonna pull it though because i don't mm, mm, i'm not gonna pull that let me do something else uh okay Miss Piggy, <laughs> Miss Piggy need to get decluttered, okay? I did decide, you guys, that um, since I have kind of gotten back into purchasing a few things, there have been a, a couple of new exciting things to drop that I wanted to go ahead and grab. So I decided that if I purchase something in a category, then I'm going to declutter an item in that ca category to help me kind of not let my collection get any more out of control so anywho that's what i plan on doing this is the abh blush palette what is this blush kit gradient this is gorgeous it really is this is beautiful maybe i should pull this yeah i'm gonna play with this it has kind of like you know some funky tones in here but when i used it before i really liked it so i'm gonna pull this and i think that's it because i have plenty of blushes you guys know i have plenty of blushes um i could pick another like face palette thing but yeah no i don't want to have too much because i want to do another shot my stash pretty soon okay powder now powders i pretty much have the same powders all the time because you know, I find a powder, I like it. I use it for a while. I really like the NYX, you know, the lighter one and the warmer one, the Imani or Iman, I should say. I really like those. The Too Faced, absolutely love. The Fenty, I absolutely love. I haven't used my Fenty in a while. Maybe I should use this. It is a powder foundation, so it definitely has a lot of coverage. I use 400. And it's so funny because it looks way too light for me. Let's see if I can open this, you guys. Lord, don't let me drop this. Okay. It looks way too light for me. But, come on, open up, open up. There we go. But when I put it on, it's beautiful. <laughs> She's beautiful. So, yeah, that is 400. As you can see, the FB is almost gone because I've used it quite a bit. So, I think I'm gonna go ahead and pull this to set my face this week. And then I can't remember if I said I was going to pull a loose powder or not, cause I'm enjoying the Prime Beauty so, so much. I have my DJ's Boutique, which I absolutely love. Put a beauty. Hmm, what about this Beauty Bakery flower? Better not bitter. I haven't used this in a while, and I think this is a really pretty shade as well. You see that in there? For under my eyes, that's a nice shade. What is this? Um, almond. Yeah, I think I'm going to pull this and use this for a little while. Okay, you guys, so I've pretty much pulled all of the, you know, base products, primer, serum, all that good stuff that I'm going to use. And since I'm still working on some of my fall palettes, I just have a couple of new additions to share with you guys. So let me go ahead and grab those. Okay, you guys, so I almost forgot. I actually picked up 
these two Urban Decay setting sprays that I saw when I went into Sephora a few weeks ago. Um, I didn't even know they had these. The D Slick Oil Control Makeup Setting Spray and the All Nighter Ultra Matte Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray. Yeah, so I was like, ooh, Ultra Matte D Slick. <laughs> so I grabbed both of these to try out. So I'll probably kind of be interchanging those during this, you know, next week or so and for however how long it takes me to try them out. But I did pick up those. Um, for palettes, I'll just start out with this one here. I did grab the, what is it called? Or Kid You Not collection, as you can see. Look at this beautiful packaging, you guys. So I did pick up the lippy pencils, the color sticks, the blushes, the Soul Body Highlighter, and the palette. I do plan on doing a video for these items, trying them out sometime this week so look for that but i'll go ahead and show you this palette right now okay so this is what the palette looks like y'all she is gorgeous this this camera is not doing her justice at all she is absolutely beautiful i mean beautiful so yeah i'm gonna do a whole video using this i like to do that whenever i purchase the whole you know collections from ColourPop because i like to try the blushes lippies all that good stuff so if you're interested in that then stay tuned for that but i do want to go ahead and just show you a few other palettes that i plan on adding to my fall selections. Okay, so let me just run through these right quick. I did add the Butte Bean and Shroud, it's freaking bats, to my Shop My Stash this week because I felt like it was appropriate. You know, since it is October, I felt like, you know, it's a perfect time to use this palette. I haven't used it yet. I think when I got it, kind of the excitement for me had died down because it took me so long to receive this palette and I just kind of put it on the shelf but I think I'm gonna go ahead and dust her off for October also I grabbed this menage a moi this color story is not like super exciting but it's from ColourPop as you can see here but I just I gotta use this palette and I pulled this palette before I received my other you know ColourPop collection of course it's the same type of color scheme but I don't care. I'm just going to do two beautiful purpley mauve looks over the next <laughs> Shop My Stash using these two different palettes. But I love this palette. It just looks so gorgeous to me and I want to use it. Now these two palettes I did grab from Glam Shop. I was going to do a little Glam Shop like Swatch Party Haul because I bought like, I don't know, maybe like nine palettes from them. This was months ago. But I never did. You guys know what i kind of been going through. So I never got around to it. But these two are really pretty. And I've actually played around with, is it this one? The Z Colorum? Let me see. Yeah, this one I've actually played around with a little bit. As you can see, my little fat finger's been digging in this one. I put that on my lid the other day and it was just absolutely gorgeous. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, just play around with these two. I might combine them. Let me just show you what this one looks like. This is the Siepta. <laughs> you know, they have names. I'm not sure exactly what they mean, but this is what the Siepta looks like. Isn't it beautiful? So yeah, absolutely gorgeous. So you you guys know how I am. I might, you know, kind of combine these two together, play around with them together, but child, these are gorgeous. I did receive my Pat McGrath. What is this called? The Celestial Odyssey. You know, their holiday palette. I did receive it. Thank God uh, nothing came broken. It's so funny. I always um, have to email them and say, hey, where's my shipment? Where's my palette? After I order it because it takes forever and then, you know, I see other people getting theirs and I have to kind of nudge them and it never fails. The day after I send them an email, I get a shipping notification every time. So anywho, this is what she looks like. I know you guys have seen her a million times, but this is what mine looks like. This is what KK's looks like, okay? So pretty. So you you guys know I have to play in this. At least give a look. <laughs> so yeah, I'm looking forward to trying her out. And then I showed this one in 
Um, my latest video talking about my favorite indie brand palettes. This is the Tati Beauty Volume 1. And after I just sat there and kind of goo goo ga ga over it for a while, I said, you know what, I need to use it. So um, I did add this to my fall selection of palettes. So continuing on with the ones that I still have to use, this one is being added to the bunch. Okay, so absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to do a look with this. And that is it for the palettes that I'm adding to my fall selection. If you guys watched my fall palette, um, shop my stash, you already know. I still have quite a few palettes that I need to go ahead and play with and use. So these are just being added to those. <laughs> okay, so yeah, that's it, you guys. I'm going to go ahead and just cut the video here because you've already seen the items that I have chosen for my base. These are for my eyes, and that's going to do it. So thanks so much for hanging out with me, you guys, and I will see you on the next one. Toodles! Mm -hmm.